Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. It might not feel that long for you guys because I uploaded a video a couple of days ago but I haven't filmed in quite a while so it's been a really busy period for me and I usually try to upload every other day but I mean even this video which is my like a panning video is quite late. I am filming this on the 25th and I'm gonna try to get it up today but um, it was supposed to go up on the 20th but um, yeah my parents were here past weekend and I was planning to try to get some time to film but I just didn't get around to it I haven't seen my parents for a year, year and a half I haven't seen my dad for a year and a half since Christmas 2021 and my mom, she was here last year when we got Lexi, my dog but yeah I haven't seen her for over a year so I spent as much time with them as I could and I just didn't get time to film and the week before that I was just too busy i was cleaning my flat i was out and about doing a lot of things and then honestly the week because it's now thursday in the week now my parents left on sunday i've just been so exhausted i switched up my office days it's just been a big mess and i just haven't had time to film so that is where i've been no big like you know deal i guess of what's going on no need for like yeah get rid of me update or anything it's just been a busy time in my life but i'm excited to be here today and update my deck of panning this project was created by emily and max and i will have her link down below as well as the playlist with everyone else who is participating but without any more rambling i'm gonna jump into the video but before i do so if you're new here please consider subscribing i would love to have you in the family let's jump into the video So as always in most of my projects I'm going to start with the project that's been in the longest and move down the list. So I have one thing, actually no I have two things that's been in since the start of the project and the first one is this one right here which is the about face light lock stick in the shade frenzy. So this one is like a highlighting stick, I'm actually wearing this one today on my cheeks. It looks very kind of glossy on a camera but I don't know if I come up close more you can see like how sparkly that is. But it's very like, it's a basically like a glitter. It is like a highlighter stick, but it's glitter basically in there. It's very, very nice. The form of this is amazing, but it's just not something that I reach for every single day. My goal with this was to reach for it 15 times. And this past month, I've reached for it quite a decent amount. I reached for it five times for a total of eight. So considering I've had it in for four months now and five out of eight times was in one month, I'm really, really happy with that. And I was considering maybe decluttering this one or rolling it out this month if I haven't hadn't reached for it very much. But since I have five years on it now, I only have seven more to go. So we'll keep it into the project and hopefully reach my goal on this by next update. But yeah, it's just hard for me to remember to reach for this one. But I'm going to make a mental note and have this out next month. And that, by the way, I rolled in for either a product you only own one thing from the brand of, or what was the other thing? Or a cream product. I think I rolled in two different highlighting sticks, and both of them kind of qualify both for those categories, so I kind of didn't really specify which one was which, but that was that product. The next one I rolled in for um, an expensive product, I believe, and that is my Pat McGrath primer. What was, did I roll this in for? No, sorry, I rolled this one in for primer. The next product is for expensive. But this one I rolled in for primer, and like I said, this is my Pat McGrath. This is the Skin Foundation Blind Perfection Primer. This one I had also had in now for three months. Actually, no, this, this one has not been in since the beginning of the year. I had this in one in for three months only. Um, and last time I had used this quite a lot already, it's a product that I've been reaching for very consistently throughout the months. And I was pretty sure I would be able to finish this one in the past month and I'm happy to say that I did so. There's no way to see through the packaging or anything but this one is now finished uh, and it took me 18 additional uses to finish it. So I will be replacing this one at the end of the video. So next product I have already mentioned the category for and that is expensive. And I rolled in my Hourglass Ghost Elite uh, Lightning Palette ambient lighting palette and um, my goal with this one is just reach for this one a hundred times um, and when I say a hundred times is when I reach for like two things in here that's two use as opposed to one thing that's one use and so on so I could technically get six use out of this one on every application but I don't reach for this one that much however I have reached for this one quite a bit so let me go through the kind of uses I have on each product in here and where my total is today so the first one in here is this one which is dim light I have reached for this one nine times Next to that we have Diffuse Light, which is the lighter kind of setting powder, and I reached for this one eight times. The highlight I have not reached for at all. 
The bronzer I have reached for 12 times and then the blushes I have reached for 2 times each. So that means in total I have reached for this one 33 times in the past month. So 33 uses uh, this month and uh, since it's been in for 3 months I have used it 74 times. Which means that I have 26 more uses to go before I hit my goal. It will definitely be done. Again I could reach for this one way more but I have other things that I'm panning. I mean I'm panning 2 blushes now. I'm panning a highlighter. I was panning a bronzer. Um, and you know setting powder, I, these are not my favorite setting powders then what kind of blending out shades for me which is not something that I remember to reach for every single day but again I will try to reach for this one more and yeah this one will definitely be done next month as well so the last two things I rolled in last month and the first one I have to talk about is an eyeshadow palette and this one I rolled in for indie I think, indie uh, and I rolled in one of my indie eyeshadow palettes, this one is from Sydney Grace in the uh, It's a Tiny Marbles palette which was in collaboration with Mel Thompson uh, this palette I rolled in, and it looks like this by the way if you haven't seen it I rolled this one in with the goal of using it no pan left behind and I'm happy to say that I was actually able to do so I completed that goal in the last week and um, the last kind of shadows that I had left to use um, I remember the last shadow I used was Mantis but I remember also in like the look before that I used Meadowhawk, Walking Stick, Marvel Flutter by as well, I think. I think all of those were the ones that I had left in the look before that. Um, but overall, I have used this in a couple of different looks. Um, I love this top row here for like a neutral look, and then you have like those kind of spring tone colors in here. Um, and honestly, it's very much like an all year around kind of palette for me because you have different shadows that suit different seasons. But it definitely worked for spring, and I was very, very excited to reach for this one. It was very fun, created some beautiful looks, and it's a absolutely amazing formula to work with. So, very, very happy to have worked on this one. But it will also be rolling out. Then, the last thing that I rolled in last month were the category something neglected or something you should reach for more. I think it was collecting cobwebs which is from Project Graveyard. I think that was the prompt. So collecting cobwebs. And what I decided to roll in was actually all of my liquid lipsticks. And again, similarly to the palette, I wanted to use to reach for every single one of my liquid lipsticks. And I'm gonna update you today what I have reached for. So first of all, these are the lipsticks that I have left to reach for. So I have quite a few in here. I'm not gonna take them all out, but you can see an overview here of what I have left to reach for. So obviously I haven't reached my goal yet, but I'm gonna cover the ones that I have reached for. So first up, let's start with the ones from KVD. I have reached for Bow and Arrow, which is like a cool tone nude. I reached for Ophelia, which is like a peachy tone nude. I love both of those. Still to go from uh, Kat Von D, I also have Agogo, Berlin, Bauhaus, Roxy, LUV, and Echo. And those I still have left. And then lastly for a KVD, I have also used Love Sick, which is like a pinky toned and plath, which is like a burnt kind of reddish color. So those have, I have reached for. Moving on to Sephora collection, I have reached for 01, which is a red. Number 13, which is a mauve tone. I still have to reach for number 22, number 25, number 29, and that number 108. So those I still have left to reach for. For my colorful one, I only have one, which is this one here, which is not a really summer lip color, so I haven't reached for this one yet. But this is the shade Saturday. I have also not really reached for my Maybelline ones yet, so these are Loyalist and uh, Romantic, so those two I have left. For my NYX Lip Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks, I have reached for Embellishment, but I have not yet reached for Teddy. And then lastly, we have the ELF Blotter Liquid Lipstick, I think, something like that in the shade Prowling Petal I have reached for. So, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 liquid lipsticks left to reach for, and I have reached for eight. So, not quite halfway there. So maybe this will be in for two more months, we'll see. Liquid lipsticks are just so something that I don't reach for. And honestly, I have reached for all of the simple, like easy shades, all my more new kind of ones. The ones that I left in here are more colorful, maybe apart from this one, which is still like a nude, but. The rest of these are a bit more colourful or a bit more deep, so we'll see how it goes, but I'm going to keep reaching for these ones um, and see how I go, but so far that pent is still staying in. So I've reached my goal on two products, the primer as well as the eyeshadow palette, so we're going to go ahead and roll in two prompts. So let me pull out the card first and then let's see what they correspond to. So the first one is going to be... What's that? A seven. Seven of diamonds, so that's the first one. And then the second one will be 
seven of spades. So let me see what those two are, two sevens. I'm gonna grab the spreadsheet and yeah, check what these are and I will let you know. So the first one that I have is seven of diamonds, which corresponds to subscription box. So I have to think what that is because I don't have too many subscription box products left in my collection, but I'll have a look for that. Then for seven of diamonds, we have copycat. I don't know if I have any copycats products in my collection. Uh, hmm. Because I don't really like buying those kind of things. But I'll have a look and I'll see what I can find. And I will let you know as soon as I'm back. So I'm back and I have chosen a product for subscription. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna re-roll because I was gonna roll in this product right here for subscription box. Because I don't have any products left that were in subscription boxes. However, this one I got as like a free gift with purchase, which I thought would work. But I'm not gonna go with that. I don't want to like, you know, impromptu my prompts because I don't have anything to fit either of these. Because I don't have anything um, that is a subscription box and I don't have anything that is a dupe because I don't buy those things. Like not dupe, sorry, but like copycats. I don't buy those products. I feel like it's a bit of a ripoff. I don't like... I mean, I mean, this might be a controversial opinion. But I just feel like it's a bit... I mean, I, I appreciate creating cheaper versions of things um, for people who can't afford it. But I don't like them when brands completely copy color stories because, I don't know, I feel like that kind of takes away the creativity from like more expensive brands. Um, but like making inspired palettes is amazing and like that kind of stuff I can definitely get behind. But yeah, with it, like with completely copy stuff, I don't like that, so that I don't really buy those. But I will go ahead and pick new tuning cards because neither of those works for me. So let's see what I get. We have another seven. This is seven of clubs, I think, right? I never remember that. It's, I promise you I have shuffled this deck. I don't know why I keep getting sevens. And then the last one is... I thought that was a seven too for a second. This is six of hearts. So let me check what those are and I will be back. So the first one, seven of clubs, I think that's clubs, right? That is birthstone and birthstone, my birthstone I'm born in November is citrine, I think. Is that the other one? I think that's what it is, right? So that is what I'm going to have to pick for uh, the first card. The second card, I'm looking down to my laptop right there. Oh, this is really exciting. The uh, six of hearts is gifted. And I have a big box of things to pick from because I recently got a lot of gifts from my friend Martina. So I will go ahead and pick up some things and I will be right back. So I'm back and I picked up my things. First up we have my birthstone which is citrine which is this kind of yellow toned stone. It's like a topazy kind of thing. So yeah, that is what um, this November birthstone is. And I decided to roll in a single eyeshadow which is this one right here from Cleona. I just feel like this one works perfectly because it's like that yellow, kind of orangey toned eyeshadow. It also has like a green shift and a pink shift to it, but I just feel like it's perfect. And with this one, my goal would be to reach for this one 15 times. I mean, if I pan on it first, that's kind of what will also be my goal, but I don't think it will because my clean eyeshadows are very pigmented. And these are very, very deep as well. So 15 uses on this one will be my goal, and that is the first eyeshadow that I'm rolling in, or first item rather, sorry. And then for the second thing, um, I was a bit torn because I rolled um, a gift and I got recently, like I said, a lot of things for Martina and I was choosing between these two things right here, which are two eyeshadow palettes. The first one is my Viseart Paris Edit, which looks like this. I feel like this one would be really nice, very kind of light, more kind of spring tone colors. So that was the first option. And then the second option is this one here, which is my Nava Dreamy. Both of these have 12 eyeshadows. This one looks like this. And I was debating which one to roll in. They're both really pretty. Um, hmm. I mean, they're kind of similar-ish color story. But I think I'm leaning towards this one. I feel like this one is one that I'm really intrigued to try the formula. I haven't tried either of these. I had a couple of Nabla singles ages ago, but I haven't tried any of their palettes before. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with this one. I, I do want to try with your too, but I was really intrigued to try this one before I got it. Or not buy it because I'm on an eyeshadow no buy, but I wanted to 
I don't know, I was just intrigued by this palette recently. So I'm gonna pick this one, and my goal with this one will be similar to the Tiny Models palette, no pan left behind. So I'm gonna roll in this one, and I want to reach for every single shade I'm in here once. So, those are the two things that I'm rolling in. Next month, as I said, I will have hopefully two things rolling out, which is the Hourglass palette and the highlighter from About Face. Those two, two should definitely be rolling out. I'm not sure about the liquid lipsticks or the new things that I'm rolling in, but we'll see how I go. But that is it for today, you guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out Emily as well as the playlist link down below, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.